In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to make a stamp using the Silhouette Mint. Hey everyone, it's Carly Hall and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Carly and I love all things crafting. And if you love crafts too, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have a ton of videos on all sorts of different crafts. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Silhouette Mint. It's a standalone stamp maker. And if you're looking for a little machine that prints out stamps, this machine is for you. It will allow you to print a couple of different sizes of stamps. So I'll show you a 45 millimeter stamp today. But if you already have a laser and you wanna learn how to make rubber stamps with your laser cutting machine, I do have a tutorial on how to make stamps that way. So if you already have a laser, check out that video. And if you're looking for a standalone stamp maker, then the Silhouette Mint may be the machine for you. All right, let's get started. You can design your stamp in whatever program you'd like. I am a fan of Illustrator, so I design in Illustrator, but Canva's a great option. Even Silhouette Studio or Inkscape would work great. So I found my image in Silhouette Studio, this little book image, and then I just chose a font and added the text this book belongs to and the Hall family. I set up my artboard to be 45 millimeters by 45 millimeters since that is the size of my stamp that I'm using. Silhouette sells different stamp sheet sets that have different sizes. So I chose this size. It also has the inches, so 1.7 inches by 1.7 inches. Once you're done designing, you'll export your image to be a PNG with a transparent background. What that looks like in Illustrator, you'll choose File and then Export, Export As, name your project, whatever you'd like to call it. And then I'm going to choose a PNG. I want to use the artboard so my art is all centered up. And then I'm going to choose Export, Next, you'll want to ensure your resolution is set to the highest option. So high would be 300 pixels per inch, which is great. And then I want to make sure that my background is set to transparent and then click OK. Next, we're going to open Mint Studio. If you haven't already downloaded Mint Studio, I'll add a link in the video description where you can find that and download the program to your computer. In Mint Studio, you'll want to choose this stamp icon here to set your stamp size. I'm using a square 45 by 45 millimeter stamp, so I'll choose that one. And then I'm going to choose File and Open and choose my image. My image will come in exactly how I had it designed in Adobe Illustrator since I exported it to an artboard and it's all centered up. If it's not centered, you can choose your image and then up at the top, you can choose Object, Align, and then choose Center to Stamp. And that will center your image right onto the stamp. You also have the ability to design a stamp within Mint Studio. It's not as robust as other design programs, but if you want to try to design within Mint Studio, you have that option too. Once you're happy with how your design looks, you can click this little icon here and that will send it to your Mint machine. To set up your Mint, you'll plug in your power supply and then you'll also plug in your USB. Power on your Mint. And then you should see your status on your computer showing ready and that it's connected by the USB. So right now you'll see that it is a solid blue light. Once you're ready to send your design, you will choose send to mint and it will open this panel here and your design will automatically be flipped just like this. So you don't need to mirror your design or anything like that. And the light on your mint machine will be illuminated with a solid blue. Once you hit the start mint button, it will initialize and say insert 45 by 45 stamp or whatever size you're using. So this stamp is my 45 by 45 and you'll want to insert it into the back of the machine with the plastic still on. So there's a plastic film. Make sure to leave that plastic on your stamp when you're inserting it. And then you'll run it through the back of the machine with the arrow in the back, just like this. If your light is not flashing and you can't get it to connect, what I found the most helpful is to click this pause button and say connection released and then do the play. 
and it will kind of recycle and refresh your mint. Then click the start mint again and it will initialize and hopefully it will get out of that cycle where it was stuck and will give you the option to insert your media. Okay, so I was trying to show you how to clear that error and it just was not going away. So I closed everything out and just restarted the program and now it's working. So I'm going to insert the sheet while I have the status insert 45 by 45 and it will start printing. So if you're getting an error where it's just getting stuck on initializing, while your mint is plugged in and powered on, I would, instead of hard resetting the machine, I would close down your program, make sure to save your project, and then reopen it so that you can have that little messaging pop up that says insert the proper sheet size. I'm not sure if that's like a firmware issue. I've never had that issue until today. So here's my print. I'm done with my mint machine now so I can put that away. And here's my stamp. So in each box, it comes with two of these stamp sheets and then two of the lids, which I'll show you how to use. This set does not come with the block. So if you wanna purchase a set that comes with the block, it's a different set. I'll link both options in my video description. I already had a block, which is cool because then I can just swap out the different stamps. So I'll show you how that works. We'll open up the stamp, just bend this right here and peel off your stamp and peel away the plastic. So there's my stamp and then the lid comes with the lid that we'll put on the block. So you'll slide this onto the block, remove the cap, and then you have these two stickers that will stamp. You'll peel away this piece of paper to reveal the sticky part, then line up your stamp onto that sticky adhesive. We'll grab two sheets of paper and then for the colors of your stamp, this isn't a traditional stamp where you would take your rubber stamp and dip it into an ink pad. This actually has a little reservoir that you'll fill with ink. So I'm going to be boring and fill my entire stamp with black because I want my full stamp to be black. But if you wanted to fill different portions to be different colors, I could fill this book belongs to in magenta and I could do the Hall family in purple and the book in black. I could fill each individual area with a different color, which is kind of cool. And once it runs out of ink, you could fill it with a different color. So to fill your ink, you just have these little ink bottles and it doesn't require a lot of ink. I've had this ink bottle for years and I'm just going to color in the portion. So I have this book belongs to colored in and what the little reservoir is doing is soaking up that ink and filling it up so that it has enough ink in there for like 50 impressions, I think. And you can let that sit for about 60 seconds for the ink to absorb into the reservoir. You don't have to wait until the ink disappears. It won't disappear. We will blot off the excess onto this paper. So after you've waited a minute, you'll wanna make sure that you fold your paper so that it doesn't bleed through. And then with the ink all bubbly like that, you'll take it and press it down onto your sheet of paper to blot off the excess. And as you're pushing them down, you'll start getting better and better impressions. And you can see that it's looking more clear. And once you're happy with the result, you'll wanna stamp your sticker so that you can place it on your cap so you know which stamp it is. So I'll line that up, push that down, and I'll let that dry, and then we'll place it onto the cap. So the cool thing is that once you have your cap on, I can make multiple stamps and then slide this off, store this in a drawer, and then just use my one block for my multiple stamps. So I'll slide this back on, place my sticker on the cap, I know some people put the sticker on the bottom of the block, but I use the same block for all my different stamps. So I do it on my cap. So I just can keep my stamps organized. So 
then I have my sticker on the top there, take off my lid, stamp it in my books, and it looks so clear. So I can stamp this about 50 times before I need to re-ink it. And like I said, you can re-ink it with a different color if you want. And then when you're storing them in your craft room, wherever you're storing them, you can just have that single block and a whole bunch of different options for your caps. So that's it. That's how you make a stamp in just a few minutes using the Silhouette Mint Machine. Even with that initializing issue that I tried to create for you so that we could solve it together, it still only took a couple of minutes. So if you're running into that issue, make sure to just hard reset your Mint Studio and hopefully that will flush out the issue and you'll be able to print your stamps in minutes. So if you need help with your Silhouette Mint or you need links, everything will be in the video description. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.